Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys to any of you having a Kia Sportage or Kia Sorento guys with a four or six cylinder engine and you're trying to find where bank one, bank two is because you did a diagnostic. Let's say you have a bad sensor on bank one or bank two. You're trying to figure out what that means guys. Stay with us, we'll explain everything as we go. That should work on any generation. Kia, Kia Sportage or Kia Sorento guys. You don't need to remove your engine out of the vehicle, but with the engine being out, we can clearly show you all the repairs on it. We'll be making hundreds of videos that can potentially save you thousands of dollars. And we can show with a great detail how to fix your car for free. So let's explain about bank one and bank two in today's video and teach you what you need to know about that stuff. So this should work on Kia Sportage and Kia Sorento different years. For instance, they start using it in early 2012 all the way to 2016, 17, depending on the market, guys. And that's a 2.4 GDI engine. So before we start, let me introduce you to the channel. Every single car we get at the garage, guys, we take them completely apart and we make at least two to 300 free repair videos. Why we do all that? Simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep providing this free information to you. Also, guys, if you want to buy parts or tools for a really good price and quick shipping as well, check out the link in the description of the video below and you can see where we get all our tools and parts from. Specifically, this is an engine out of a 2013 Kia that we'll be demonstrating on and with that being said okay uh, if you have uh, a Kia guys or other vehicle check our main channel auto repair guys we have videos that have helped more than 120 million people guys that can save you thousands of dollars so let's start on it now so this is guys the engine right here this is a four cylinder engine we'll explain about a four and a six cylinder engine so with that being said guys okay before we start many of you ask me since this is uh, this channel we post quite a few di diagnostics videos what uh, tool we recommend for diagnostics what scanner that's the one right here i'll put the link in the description of the video below for more information and where you can get it from and check the current price it works on almost any car you can think of it's amazing too that can pay itself off practically in one time years guys and key is right here when you let's say you scan the system okay and you get a code guys that you have uh, uh, let's say you have uh, a uh, fuel trim system that's too lean on bank one okay what that means let's first talk about the force cylinder engine because that's the majority of those bank one means guys okay it's just your cylinder head because you simply have one cylinder head guys now the uh, code is generic so the codes guys okay every code has specific name so uh, practically it doesn't matter if you have a six or four cylinder engine okay no no uh, uh, the certain code will be relating to bank one let's say p0171 will relate to fuel uh, fuel uh, trim being too lean on bank one so uh, for four cylinder engines you don't need to know anything about bank one and two everything is bank one because only you have only one cylinder head guys if you have a v6 engine that's where things get uh, interesting because you will have two cylinder heads okay one on the back side of the engine towards the windshield one on the front side towards the radiators now the engine computer actually guys okay will he used okay the two cylinder heads is two different engines okay the top side of the engines and certain components you will have ignition coils you will have camshaft position sensors you have uh, uh, you will have uh, actually oxygen sensors that will be relating to bank one and bank two and in order to distinguish between the two cylinder heads okay you have bank one and bank two but where is bank one and bank two bank one is guys facing okay the cylinder head closer to the windshield bank two is the one okay that is closer to the radiator guys okay closer to the radiator so if you do some diagnostics and let's say you have a problem with the uh, bank one okay will be the cylinder head or the components relating to the cylinder head towards the windshield bank two is towards the radiator so hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you guys next time 